Well, I just uh, <laughs> I'm just feeling fortunate to be here in this room and be hearing what you have to say about this because I definitely used to check the box spiritual but not religious, right? Mm -hmm. And just and two or three years ago, I was going to all the spiritual centers. I was going. I was a committed member of those communities, and then I stopped. Yeah. And I was like. There you go. There's nothing for me. That's right. That's There's right. There's nothing for me here. And then That's I was right. like, well, what do I do? And I was, and I just, I've been doing my own thing. I got a big salutogenic hit on this because I am convinced there is a hidden army of people like you in Western culture right now. Yeah. You're one of them, Laura. You just yeah. turn to your own devices because there's nowhere else to go. Yeah. becoming less spiritual because I'm not going to these things and I was like no I'm doing my thing I'm connecting to the things that resonate with me and it's not what I see as spiritual but not religious mm -hmm. and I didn't have words or the construct until mm -hmm. your conversation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, I think to me again then Laura I really believe that religion when it like every faith system when it came it was pure and then it got into the hands of the people at that stage of development which is what wrecked it but the religion by itself I believe is a very beautiful thing and I think what's missing is source code of meditation in religion because no matter how beautiful pure or whatever you create whatever God sends to us with whatever profit if the people are at a stage of development that's toxic it's going to be wrecked anyway. But if, because you know, Christianity was to bring more Christs, not more followers. But when you look at the pure intention, it then it, it really starts to illuminate me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and absolutely. So I think that source code meditation, that practice is what's missing in religion. Yeah, and I mean, uh, that, so one path is absolutely is that what most people don't understand that most of the world's wisdom traditions have much higher paths than what yeah. the the center of gravity of most of the people are around. But what I'm and, and that's and that's and that's good. And so bring a catalytic vehicle into that and continue those paths. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm suggesting is there's new emergence that none of them knew or had access to that can define a new religion. And, and it doesn't have to eliminate that th those there's ways to, to honor those paths you know? and it's all just coming together for me right now as far as my clients are concerned as well because I have several clients that have similar situations where they I don't want to say outgrown but they've gone above and beyond their yeah. current religion I have one client that has actually told me last week she's leaving her church yep. because it's not fulfilling her. What kind of church is it? Uh, Christ. Is it a like a traditional church or like a unity unit? Uni Maybe a. Um, it's not Lutheran. She was in Lutheran. Uh, church of Christ or something Kay. like that. Yeah, I'll find out and mm -hmm. you know, but it's like hitting me in the head right now yeah. that this is what's happening yep. organically. Yep. And 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 their their solution what the postmodern churches are the unity and I'm not making these wrong. In fact, they've they've served a purpose. Some of them have done pretty good work, right? Some of them still do pretty good work. But there's a whole other world opening up that they are not aware of and don't have the vehicles and the paths and the teachings to catalyze. And they've started to go really flat. And the people are going in there almost totally for community. They're not getting transformation. They're getting community. Someone I can talk to other than my, uh, you know, my stuffy traditional dad who thinks I'm going to hell because I'm not believing in you know, going to church every Sunday and Wednesday. And so there's a community where we can get together and we can connect and we can talk and we can kind of act spiritual and uh, listen to the music, and uh, and ultimately they're they're left without any real 
catalytic agents in them and it becomes just kind of dialogue based and then it becomes often so there's a trend now towards social justice within them you know that that's the that let's fight the oppressors you know let's let's uh, and and that's become the the real thing and i don't it's not i mean if that's all you think religion is then maybe that's or spirituality then maybe that's you know salving your soul a little bit but it's not it's not doing it for most people and they don't know they don't where do you go from that oh you go lay down in a gong bath in your yoga studio and you know i mean they, that there's there's a leading edge that that is wanting to to explode i'm convinced of that and there and the pressure cooker is kept on them because of their the institutions and the relig and the churches and all and what's available, right there they don't they're not uh, they're not there's no place to take that green exit. There's a place for green and pathological green, and it's in the green and pathological green churches. There's no place for green exit. Trying to move beyond that to go right now. And that's what I want to create.